Okay, tubers. <clears throat> I thought I'd do a little quick, quick, quick video here. Um, I was going down the highway the other day, um, and I noticed oil burning. I mean, and I noticed it strong, too. Um, I was going to show... <clears throat> you remember, uh, I've done a video on the valve covers, uh, replacing the gaskets. As you can see, the grommets, the blue grommets right there. Um, and I noticed it wasn't leaking out from underneath and getting on the exhaust manifold. It was leaking from the top, especially right here in this corner, and it was running down the side and getting on the exhaust manifold. Well, it would only do this when it was at higher RPMs, and I noticed it was only doing it when it was going down the highway. So, I got to thinking, well, my, my valve covers aren't leaking, and it's not leaking anywhere else. I mean, because I would leave it on the concrete, and it you know, wouldn't leak anywhere else. So, I looked at the PCV valve. Uh, at the PCV valve. Right down in there, that is the PCV valve. And what that does is that helps relieve pressure from building inside the crankcase. Um, it helps it from building inside the crankcase and keeps it from blowing out gaskets and stuff. Um, valve cover gaskets, oil pan gaskets, uh, intake gaskets, add gaskets. It just keeps pressure from building. It helps regulate pressure. Um, what does build pressure inside um, is put through the PCV valve, put through the intake, and 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 helped uh you know helps pull oxygen from or the the pressure from inside the crankcase through the intake helps it burn it and all that so i took this off um and down in here i don't know if you can see it but that little tiny plunger on the inside of this that circle right there that inside uh, on top of that silver I don't know if you can see it, that little plunger thing right in the middle of that uh, silver. Uh, that's the PCV valve. Um, that little plunger was stuck. I took the plunger out and I would shake it. Um, and it wasn't shaking the plunger. Um, the plunger wasn't shaking. So I took some oil, oiled it up, cleaned the crud off of it. Um, and... Uh, got it working again <clears throat> I took it down the highway and I noticed I did not smell oil burning so that was a fix that PCV valve was stuck um, instead of going to buy another one I just cleaned this one up throwed some oil to it and uh, it got working again um, but I thought I would do a little quick video here because I noticed that when uh, this car is, is uh, as old as it is higher miles it's gonna start breaking down more so I thought I would do videos on the little things um, but if you are having the same problem and you, you've replaced the valve cover gaskets like I have, mine were actually bad and leaking. They were pouring oil on the bottom half on each side. The, the gasket was dry rotted, um, from where it had been sitting so long. Um, and not only that, but it seems like that would, that these 3800s, that are the first, that's the first things to go, um, are the valve cover gaskets, which is a simple fix. Um, this is a generation one, it's a 95, it's, um, it's not uh, OBD2, it's an OBD1, um, but it's a simple fix. All you have to do is just take it off back here, take it off here. And I have replaced um, ones on third on Series 2s. Um, on Series 2s, the, the power steering pump is down, back down in here. Um, and then the alternator is up here, or the, in place of the, the, the power steering. And then you have to pull off the... Uh, 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 the alternator bracket is part of the water pump housing, so you have to take the uh, the the alternator bracket off. Um, it's just a hose connecting it. I don't know why they have it like that, but they do. Um, it's a metal metal elbow, or sometimes they're plastic, but this was a metal one, um, and I had to take that off to get to that one on the series two. Um, this is not a series two. I remind you, this is not a series two. Um, but I thought I would do a, little, a, a video on the little thing of uh, just just the uh, you know oil burning and stuff and um, so 
yeah, I thought I'd just just do a little quick video on that. Um, getting ready to hit. Um, I think it's. 246,377 so she's still ticking still ticking um, I need to get some motor mounts for it and stuff so um, I can I noticed the motor sitting here got a little shimmy to it when I'm going down the highway um, and I looked at the bushings the the uh, motor mounts and they're they're gone um, but yeah I thought just a video on the PCV valve um, on, on the Series 2 and 3, they have the map sensor right here. Now, those are very brittle to break. So, whenever you do the map sensor on Series 2s, um, you have to hold the clip. Well, I've got, you, you need two hands. I've got a camera in one. Um, you need to hold the, the, the PCB valve down and then undo the little clip and then pull the thing off. And then, then you can twist this off and wiggle it out. Um... But, yeah. Well, if I can get it on here. There we go. Okay. Well, yeah, she still runs good. Um, got any questions or comments, just leave them in the section below. I'll answer them best I can. Y'all have a good one.